Hello there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the second filter that was sent to me by Andrew. This one is the Eheim Biopower 200. It actually looks like a very funky design this one but it's quite simple in the way that it works. I'll just give you a few bits of information from the manufacturer. And this has got good information on as well, so I'm going to do it in litres and also in US gallons. So, the 200 is suitable for tanks between 100 and 200 litres, which is 26 to 53 US gallons. The pump is capable of shifting between 210 and 650 litres per hour, which is 55 to 172 US gallons and the pump is only 6 watts so it's a very very efficient one to use this one but I would expect nothing less from the Germans okay so that's it there we've got like a ball attachment on the top which can be taken off and that is our pump <laughs> It looks really weird, it's just like a little tennis ball. In fact, it's pretty much exactly the same size as a tennis ball. And that sits into that like cup sort of arrangement there. And you can adjust it anywhere you want in the tank. Now when you're trying to adjust it out of the water, it is more difficult than in the water. The water seems to lubricate it and it makes it a hell of a lot easier to move. So don't rive on with it too much unless it's actually in the water. And as far as the actual removable baskets go, we've got one on the bottom, which has a circular coarse foam, and that one's got slits all the way around, which allows the water to be drawn in all the way around the foam. It goes through the foam, up this central perforated tube, into here, and that would ordinarily have that stuff in, which is Eheim's Substrat Pro, which is a scented glass media. It's actually a pretty good media, that one, but for whatever reason, Andrew has chosen not to use it. Comes with two little bags of that, and that would go in one, two sections. Now, when you've got it filled with very small media like that, you have to be careful taking it apart, otherwise, you're going to end up with it all over your floor. But there we've got two sections of media. In there I've managed to fit 175 grams of biogravel marine because this one is being used for a marine tank. So in total we've got about 350 grams of media. That packed it in really really tight. And then in the very top section there we've just got another lump of coarse foam. That's there basically to stop anything being sucked up into the pump's impeller and damaging it. Really, that is about it. I don't know what more to say about this particular filter. You know, you've got the pump which draws the water up through your foam and your media. I can't really sacrifice one of these containers to put any medium pads or fine pads in. I can't adjust that because of the central perforated column and the fact that it draws in from all the way around the sides. So that coarse foam has to stay there. That is our mechanical filtration. To be honest, that's going to catch the majority of the muck before it heads up through two trays of media. We've got to protect the foam in there and then the water spat back out to the tank. That's probably the fastest video I've ever done because I did set this one up before I started filming. It's really, really easy. You've got a little bit of mechanical filtration, a reasonable provision as far as internal filters go for biological filtration, nowhere really to put chemical filtration, a pump with a decent output, which is very economical to run. You can easily lift it off the suckers that attach it to the inside of your aquarium. So that's a nice touch. Parts are always going to be available for this because it's Eheim. You can still get parts for filters that they stopped making like 20 years ago. That's how much Eheim look after their customers. Nice filter. 
350 grams of media is not a whole lot. It's not going to give you a full cycle on anything over probably 50 litres at best. You know, so it really will be for a small aquarium if you want to see a full cycle. But as something that'll just boost your existing filtration and provide a little bit extra clarity to the water, yes, a very good filter. I remember selling those when we had them in the shop and everybody who was sold them to was pleased. But I do think they were called something different then. I'm sure it was something ball or eco ball or power ball or something like that. It sounded like a dishwasher tablet or something, you know, but it was a pump. I'm sure it was that one. Now, in an effort to try and squeeze another minute or so out of this video, I might as well say what else comes with this filter. It's got three spare clips, which is used here for our release mechanism on the various trays. That's a nice touch because they are quite small and if you broke one, you'd basically have to chuck the filter away. So you've got three spares there, which is awesome. You've got a little inlet, which is adjustable for an airline, which has a tiny little bit of pipe, probably about two inches long, but that's enough. That goes onto an extra nozzle and that goes onto the end of here, like that. So as the water's being fired out, air is drawn in, mixed with the water. That helps to agitate the water surface, which in turn helps to release gases that are in the water and exchange them with the atmosphere. Keeping the water surface agitated is very, very important in any tank. That enables you to do it very, very easily. Or, if you didn't fancy that, you could swap it out for that which pushes in and that has one, two, three, four, five, six little outlets on and that basically acts as a spray bar. So you can direct that wherever you want, move your ball about and get the water flowing in a more diffused sort of a way, but at the same time still disturbing the surface. So there you go, that's going to go back in the box, get sent back off to Andrew, and I think we're about done here. I'm sure there will be a day when Eheim makes an arse of a filter, but that day is not today. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up, share it wherever you want, and I shall see you next time. Remember, if you've got a pump or a filter that you want me to take a look at, upgrade and send you back for free, by all means get in touch by email or by phone. My contact details in the video description and also in the pinned comment. See you next time.